Hello again guys, I'm back with another gaming laptop which I want to test for mining. So in front of me I have the 2022 uh, Asus ROG Zephyrus M16 which I want to test for mining. I'm going to start the mining script, see the performance, the hash rate, I'm going to show you these settings that I use for this laptop and also I'm going to show you how I managed to install Windows on this laptop because being a 2022 model uh, and uh, not being uh, with Windows installed I had to do it myself and some drivers weren't able to find on the website first of all I want to zoom a little bit so you can see the screen now uh, what I recommend uh, for having less issue with the drivers install Windows 11 uh, you will have some small issues with the drivers uh, it won't uh, find them maybe you have to plug your wire uh, depending on your luck uh, but if you make all your updates and you go on the Intel website, you'll have to download the uh, Wi-Fi driver and the other components, then you will have no problem uh, installing the other drivers. Uh, now, regarding the mining um, on this laptop, first of all, make sure you go to plan settings, power plan settings, and check never and never on uh, turn off the display while plugged in never and uh, put computer to sleep never while plugged in because uh, if you have for example 10 minutes to be to turn off your display or go to sleep uh, you will have a drop in hash rate it will go to sleep or if the screen goes off you will have a, a small value in your hash rate so this is the first thing you have to do uh, before i start the mining with it I want to show you the type of GPU that I have on this laptop. It's the RTX 3070 Ti, as you can see. Now, uh, the difference between this model and other models uh, that you might find is the memory type. Now, here I have the Hynix memory, which is equivalent with the Micron. That means you won't have uh, much overclocking uh, power on it you will be limited to maximum uh, 700 or something like that and uh, you will see the hash rate now if you find the laptop with samsung memory you can uh, overclock it uh, more and be get a better hash rate now it depends on your luck because no one tells you what type of memory you have on your gpu okay let's uh, start the mining script as you know i'm using phoenix miner I find it the most stable. So I'm going to let it generate the DAC file and then I'm going to overclock it to my um, standard settings. Okay, so as you can see, I hope you can see, I'm going to focus a little bit on the text. So we have uh, 46 mega hashes per second on the standard uh, overclocking. I mean, no overclocking. Now I'm going to start the MSI afterburner. <clears throat> so as you can see, here we have uh, a small value for, for overclocking. This is from the BIOS. If you check the overclocking, you have these uh, small values so that uh, it brings your GPU just a little bit uh, overclocked. Now I'm going to bring my own values. I'm changing on the, only on the memory clock because this is what it's been used for mining. Now here we have 698. If you put something like 700 or more, you will have a drop in hash rate. Okay, now let's see the hash rate going up. So we have 47, 48, 50. 51.5 so we are stable at 51.5 now uh, some of you might experience an issue uh, while trying to put it in turbo mode I already have it in turbo mode uh, you will see that uh, as soon as you overclock your GPU um, you will see here the turbo uh, icon and uh, your overclocking will disappear will reset and that's because of the armory crate 
let me start it. Now, another same thing would be going to the armory crate and setting it to turbo mode or performance mode, which one you choose. Now, in turbo mode, you will have the maximum speed for the fans. This laptop is a noisy one. So I hope it won't bother you in this video, but uh, this is the natural sound of this laptop while mining. Okay, so in turbo mode, we have 51.6. Six. Let's see if the performance mode. The fans are less noisier now, but the hash rate drops, as you can see. Let's see what happens to the, to the overclock. So also the overclocking disappeared. Let's overclock it. And let's see if we can get the same hash rate on the performance mode without uh, having those uh, noisy fans. Okay. So as you can see, we have uh, 51.6 mega hashes per second. On the performance mode, we have 66 Celsius on the temperature. So these values are very good. Now, if you experience a reset in uh, after burner on the overclocking, you have to uh, stand with your armory crate minimized because if you close it, sometimes you might uh, it might reset your overclocking. It does not happen uh, very often, but if it happens, you have to start your armory crate and put it uh, minimized. So as you can see, we have uh, it very a very silent uh, laptop on the performance mode. Okay. So we have here a drop to 50 mega hashes per second and uh, it goes up to 51.6 again. Yes, this happens because I opened the armory crate. Now, just to be sure, uh, keep your armory crate minimized just like this. So you will have a stable hash rate I'm mining on this laptop for about one week and uh, I find uh, this uh, option with the armory crate minimized the best one because I did not have any crashes what whatsoever. Now, uh, if you want to check the full specs of this laptop, as you can see I have the i9 12th generation of Intel Core. Uh, you have to check your, the description I'm going to write here, uh, all the specs and even the price for this laptop. Now, uh, as a comparison, this laptop uh, has 120 watts uh, total graphic power on the RTX 3070 Ti. Uh, and also I have another laptop that has 150 watts. As you know, Nvidia releases uh, GPUs in two versions, the max quality and max performance. Now, I guess that the 150 watts, which is the ROG Strix Car 15, which I previously reviewed, is the max performance and this one is the max quality because it has less power about 120 watts and i'm going to compare this hash rate with the tuf a 15 or uh, hp omen 5 which also have the previous uh, version of the gpu the rtx 3070 non ti which uh, had a hash rate that's also, the Rock Street, the uh, HP Omen, and the Tav Dash had a hash rate of about 51.5. So, as you can see, even if this laptop's, uh, laptop has the titanium version of the GPU, uh, for mining, it does not make a difference. Uh, and also, this laptop comes, uh, brings a bigger consumption of power. Also, in a, pre in a video in my uh, library, you can find the power consumption of this laptop. So, it does not bring any performance, uh, any bigger performance in hash rate, and uh, the power consumption is bigger. So, I don't see why someone will uh, buy this laptop for mining, because you pay more for uh, no extra performance. So, in my opinion, if you use it for mining, don't buy this laptop. But if you use it for uh, gaming, 
you can buy this laptop because for gaming it makes a small difference uh, that might uh, satisfy you in your game now uh, please do check my other videos with the benchmark test on the latest 2022 laptops also in comparison with the 2021 laptops on uh, same GPUs on different wattage and um, where a, a small difference could account for your performance in games and mining so this is all for now uh, this is the mining performance of this laptop it's, it's not so bright so uh, to be short don't buy this laptop for mining because you pay a lot for a not so big difference so it doesn't count much that's all for now guys thanks for, thanks for watching and i'll uh, be back with other videos and other laptops Bye-bye.